M0FXB, welcome to my channel, GD88, or this one's the Kydera 880, same radio. So normally we would add using our code plug, or we can manually enter a channel into this radio. So if I hold down the top button here, the flat line here, we can go down, we can, add, we can select digital or analog, we can select frequencies, slots, color codes, and we can create a channel, that's great, and we can do it with the software as well, we can create a channel, but the quick way that people like to do is to just go to their hotspot, which is added, uh, which is using just talk group number nine. Talk group number nine is basically a link from your radio to your hotspot. So we're on talk group nine, and if you had an Anytone 878, you can manual dial, and the way you do on the 878, I think you just hold down the zero type, say, say you want talk group 91, select with the hash you'd select group channel not private key the mic and you're there and you're, you're chatting on that channel which is great and it'll hang on that channel as long as you want but with the kydera this is what it does so we're on we've got a hotspot. it's on talk group nine at the moment okay we've just been doing some tests so we go menu go to contacts with the up and down till you see the word contacts at the top and then select it then you want to go to manual dial uh, we, we we can add contacts we can look at our contacts we can add a new contact we can add a new group contact but what we want to do is manual dial a random contact. let's say someone's just said to you meet me on talk group 2353 three. you go okay and you quickly you're on nine you just want a manual dial so you select manual dial here so it's highlighted in blue it says manual dial you press select and you type let's go two three five three so that's two three five three or you could actually put in the dmr number of your friend you can put in his dmr number and it will talk it will go straight to him and he'll be able to talk to you so if we key the mic m0 fxb now look here m0 fxb we have keyed the mic and we have gone to talk group two five three two three five three but the problem is it's done it for a private contact, so it won't let us join a room. It's letting us join an individual person. So if I put in, if you gave me your DMR number and I put that in and transmitted, and when I let go, it will stay on the black screen. Yeah, you're going to hear me. We're going to be able to have a private chat together, no problem. So as far as private contacts, this is a success. But on the Anytone 878, at this point, we can push a button normally. Like I think it's the hash button. And then it will change and you'll get the word private or group. If we hold down hash, hold down a couple of buttons and it's not doing it. And this is what we need. So if you've got one of these and you're speaking to a radio oddity, tell them we just need now at this point to select group call. And then we'll be able to go to any talk group within the DMR system. I'll just try a few more buttons. That just deletes. That takes us back. You get the idea. So. Hopefully someone can help us on this and we're gonna, it will make this radio, the GD88, an even better radio. Why is it so good? Because it will receive two hotspots at the same time, um, two digital A and B at the same time. They have sorted out the volume problem. It was too loud, which is great. You've got, you can send the PTT from the top or the bottom as well with the red button. You can even hold down the red and you go to VFO mode. There it is, VFO mode. Hold it again, you can put channels in. Uh, it's a lovely radio. You can program up your personalized boot screen as well, which I know mine's a bit dark, but it's definitely there. Uh, and it's it's a good set, it's a very good radio. £179 in the UK, and you get a dual band. And I think this one actually does do cross band, cross repeat, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, DMR radio and analog radio with broadcast radio. So you go menu. I'm pretty sure we've got broadcast radio here, if you find it. Just back out completely. Menu. You've got the grid, but always look at the title at the top. It's a lot easier. Let's go to local set, see if we can find radio. It has got a broadcast radio, honestly. Just trying to find it. Parameters. Look at that. Timeout, power. Was that slot repeat setting? Sleep mode, encode level, it's very sophisticated. Tone set, appendix, it might be in there. G88 
GPS, APRS, FM radio. There it is there, a bit dark. Tidy. Also means that I can get in to do some... There's uh, your volume the, when you're... Uh, app accordions in, within, well. When you're within the um, menu, you get this blue volume slider. And when you're in the channels, and you can add the single receive as well. You just go menu, go to settings, then go to the one that's called display mode settings, go down to single, and you can display channel name, channel frequency, or both. Display mode, turn that on, back up. And we're in single screen now. You can also, you've also got GPS on and it get this nice little green logo. I think I've set a shortcut. You can set shortcuts for all the buttons. DTMF on that one was. DTMF off. Let's try the top button, hold that down. That's taken us to our private list. It does do private and and group calls. It just, we just need that selection. There you are, GPS on, so if we back out, that will start flashing in, see it's red and it will go green and when you do get that then you've got a whole menu for GPS which is in appendix, I know it's a weird way of calling it but look, appendix select GPS, you've got a full GPS menu when you get a lock you can look at your location when you get a lock, we've not got a lock at the moment and then we've got a whole APRS menu as well and it is APS digital and analog receive only um, let me think no transmit only on the analog I think well, I'm not sure need to check that uh, better um, so thanks for watching my channel 73 this is about manual and private dial